When you're looking for a great laptop for traveling, you'll often have to look a bit differently than for a laptop you'll just use at home or at the office. It isn't just about sheer processing power or having the highest resolution screen. When it's a device you'll take with you on the road, other things come into play as well. We've listed down the top five best laptops for traveling and their key features, plus the things to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 5. Microsoft Surface Go At first glance, Microsoft Surface Go is a bit of an odd machine. It's a tablet computer with a 10-inch screen that weighs a little over a pound, with a starting price under $400, yet it runs Windows 10. While the Pentium Gold processor inside the Go is definitely a low-end chip, you'll still be able to run the majority of Windows apps and even play a few basic games without the machine grinding to a halt. The optional type cover adds a keyboard and trackpad as well as protection, and it's surprisingly enjoyable to type on. Battery life is rated at up to 9 hours, and you'll likely get around 6 or 7 in the real world depending on what you're doing. The battery life could be better since it's not enough to get you all the way through a long haul flight or full workday. Still, because the Surface Go can charge via either the Surface Connect or USB-C ports, you've always got the option of using a portable battery like this to power it back up again. It's an attractive, well-built machine, and the bright, colorful 1800 by 1200 display is dramatically better than you'd expect at this price point. Since storage is limited, the micro SD slot is essential, since it's the perfect place to dump photos, movies, and other stuff you want access to on the road. There's nothing else like it on the market though, so it's still easy to recommend. If you're after an attractive, super light machine that performs well as both an entertainment device and productivity tool, it's definitely worth a look. Number 4. Acer Spin 3 While it's not as sleek or lightweight as the XPS 13 or MacBook Air, the Spin 3 is a powerhouse. Shipping with an i7 processor, 16GB of RAM, and 512GB of storage, many of the specs are better than those found on high-end laptops for several hundred dollars less. It's also a convertible 2-in-1 device, letting you use it as a tablet or watch movies in stand mode by folding the screen backward. I've typically found 13 or 14-inch devices too large to use regularly as a tablet but it's surprising how often I'll fold the screen back to watch movies on a plane or in bed. Battery life is rated at up to 12 hours, although you won't get that in the real world. Even so, it should be enough to get you through a long flight or a day working in a coffee shop if you don't push it too hard. The only real downside of the Spin 3 is its weight, at nearly 3.8 pounds, 1.8 kilograms. It's right at the upper end of what we'd consider appropriate for travel. You're not going to drop this laptop in your day bag and forget it's in there. For those that can handle the heft though, it offers remarkable value for money. If you need a powerful machine that's equally at home doing intensive work or binge watching your favorite show and don't want to spend a fortune on it, you could do an awful lot worse than the Acer Spin 3. Number 3. Dell XPS 13. The Dell XPS 13 range has been around for quite a while. We reviewed the first version way back in 2012, and a follow-up model in 2015, and we were impressed with them both. At the time, all the talk was how they compared to Apple's MacBook range. Apple's laptops have stagnated somewhat in recent years, however, while Dell has continually improved not only the specifications of the XPS 13, but its size, features, and battery life as well. The end result? After years of refinement, we're confident in saying the Dell XPS 13 is the best laptop for most travelers in 2020, especially those who work online. The first thing you'll notice about the latest XPS 13 is just how small it is. The bezels around the screen are tiny, coupled with a slim, tapered body that's under 12 inches wide and a 2.7 pound, 1.2 kilogram starting weight. It's simply easier to carry around or use on an airline tray table than the competition. 
It's an attractive laptop too. There's a distinctive gorgeous white variant available, as well as the silver and black carbon fiber design we've seen in the past. Even the little things like the tiny lights on the side to show the remaining charge are stylish and understated. Despite the small stature, the XPS 13 is crammed full of high-end components. Dell bills it as the most powerful laptop in its class, and independent benchmarks confirm this isn't just marketing speak. You can choose between the latest Intel 10th generation i3, i5 and i7 processors, with up to 32GB of RAM. The solid state drive tops out at a whopping 2TB with the option of either an FHD Plus 1920x1200 screen or UHD Plus 3840x2400 touchscreen. All in all, there is an awful lot to like about the latest Dell XPS 13, and almost nothing not to. With the best mix of size, power and price right now, it's easily our top travel laptop pick in 2020. Number 2. Lenovo Flex 14 If you're a bit tight for cash but still want a laptop appropriate for travel, there aren't many good options. Machines tend to be big and heavy with poor battery life and specifications and are often made from cheap materials that don't stand up well to life on the road. One of the few to buck the trend is the Lenovo Flex 14, a 2-in-1 device that's surprisingly affordable for what it offers. Because the screen folds backwards to let you use it in stand or tablet mode, it's a much better option for watching shows on long flights than a standard laptop. Its specifications too are better than you'd expect. While many budget machines skimp on things like RAM and storage, you'll get the same 8GB, 256GB that come by default in much more expensive laptops. The Flex 14 isn't as thin as some of its more expensive competition, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The extra depth means there's more room for an inbuilt card reader, along with a USB-C port and two USB-A ports for connecting other accessories. The FHD 1920x1080 resolution fine for a 14-inch display, and there's also an HDMI port for connecting to an external monitor if you've got one available. Weight and battery life are about what you would expect from a budget travel laptop, at 3.5 pounds and up to 8 hours respectively. The keyboard, so often the downfall of machines like these, is comfortable to type on, and the trackpad is better than most at this end of the market. Other than the weight and battery life, this is a 2-in-1 laptop with few compromises for travelers who need a machine that can handle a proper workload but don't want to blow their entire travel budget on it. Number 1. Apple MacBook Air Apple's MacBook Air consistently made it to the top of our best laptops for travel list. It was small, light and powerful enough to get real work done in a market with few alternatives. For years we confidently predicted Apple would kill the MacBook Air. After ignoring it for years however, the company proved us wrong. Not only did it not stop selling that model, the Air finally got a significant update. It's now hard to decide between the Air and the Pro. Both machines have their strengths and weaknesses, and it's really a matter of weight and price versus power and expandability. For most travelers though, we recommend the Air. Well built and reliable, it comes in a couple of flavors. Either an Intel i3 processor with a 256GB drive, or an i5 with a 512GB drive. Both versions come with 8GB of RAM and you can configure them with up to 16GB of RAM and 2TB of storage. It weighs just 2.8 pounds, 1.3 kilograms. The MacBook Air now uses Apple's gorgeous Retina 2560x1600 True Tone screen. It's crisp and vibrant and adjusts white balance and brightness based on the ambient light for more natural colors. The laptop has two USB-C Thunderbolt ports. As with many other current laptops, these double as charging sockets. Other than a headphone jack, there are no other connectors, so you'll end up with various dongles and accessories in your bag. That's a common story with many laptops in 2020, unfortunately, and the Air is no exception. Battery life is rated at up to 12 hours, a full two hours more than the equivalent Pro. In the real world, it'll get you to the end of a long flight or workday, at least if you're not pushing the processor too hard. 
Overall, while there's nothing about the latest MacBook Air that's going to set the laptop world on fire, it simply gets most things right for travelers. It's small and light and is plenty powerful enough for watching video or running several browser tabs at once.